Hey guys, Brian the Cell Phone Guy here again. Today I want to show you a brief overview of what a Sonom XP8 looks like when it's controlled by uh, an MDM system such as AirWatch. Now the phone I'm showing you now is uh, an XP8, but it has no AirWatch on it. So this is the standard display that you're used to seeing on all Android phones and something that you're very familiar with. Now, if you put AirWatch onto the phone, it's gonna look completely different and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. But before we do that, let's just uh, talk for a few seconds on what uh, an MDM system is. So MDM stands for Mobile Device Management. And what it is, it's a software package that allows the company that owns the phone to control what is able to be done with the phone and to secure it properly. So if the phone is ever lost or stolen, it can be remotely wiped or remotely locked. Um, and it also lets the uh, company decide which uh, functions of the phone are available. And in this particular example, uh, this company has decided that YouTube is not a work function that's required, so it's restricted, and as a result, the end user can't access it. So this is what the normal phone looks like. So if we take the same phone and we load the MDM software called AirWatch onto it, this is the new home screen. And it looks completely different, but a lot of this stuff is the same, it's just in a different location. So your telephone icon is up here and that works the same as always. The contacts icon is here. Um, the clock, the camera, messages, things like that. Uh, but a couple of things that are a little bit hidden uh, in this down drop down arrow here, we're going to see that this is where the settings menu is, which is the gear, and this is where all the settings are located. So it looks a little bit different than normal. Um, also down here, this one called uh, Android for AirWatch, if we open that one, this is where the Google Play Store is located, and also the apps catalog. Now the apps catalog is all the apps that this in particular company has decided are suitable for uh, their work purposes. So you can download any of these apps, but if the app that you want is not on here, you can't download it. Now, one of the things that you might want to do is you want, might want to move an icon from one home screen to the next because there's basically two pages on this one. So let's say that we wanted to move this one here. So all we would do is just hold on to it and then drag it off the screen until the second page appears. And if we go too far, go back to this side, and we just release it on the second page, and then that's where the, uh, the app will live, and now we have an empty space on the home screen. So that's kind of an overview of what AirWatch does to a phone. So it may look completely different, but once you take a few minutes to get used to it, uh, you'll find that it functions just the same way as any other Android phone. None of the prime functions such as power and volume and backup and push to talk and things like that have changed in any way. It's just the look of the screen and where certain apps are. So that's a quick overview of AirWatch for Android. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me through the site and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And other than that, thanks for watching.